Angelo with Angelo's Workbench here with an update on my Model Factory Hero Ferrari. Progress has continued, albeit slowly. The body has many small parts and intricate detail parts that go on to make up the headlights, the turn signals, the front grille. I haven't even begun the tail section yet. I've just been working on the nose. I do have the windows installed. The kit is, to say the least, advanced. Um, there's a lot of tweaking of parts, manufacturing of parts. The headlight covers didn't fit properly. I had to adjust those. The photo etch metal parts all have to be trimmed and bent. At least it comes with the photo etch metal that is not on a part that you have to cut. It is um, adhesive backed photo etch metal, which has made this substantially easier. The chassis, however, is complete. I've added the seats. I've. Um, in, done the uh, white letters on the tires. The car itself is ready for mating with the body once I finish all of the little doodads. I'm trying not to handle it too much. It's very fragile. Crazy glue is not the best. So I've got a little white glove that I get out and I've been using the white glove to uh, handle the body as carefully as possible because it seems like every time I touch it I knock something off and then I have to re-glue it back on. So so progress is continuing here at Angelo's Workbench. I hope you enjoy the new logo. I just got a new logo made for the channel. And I'm going to have um, the ability to... I think the logo is a lot cooler than just a square box um, with Angelo's Workbench in it. So the cool car is cool. It's got the silhouette of the car. I like the green and the purple color too. It's, it's kind of neat. So, uh, so I hope you enjoy that as well. Here comes a slideshow. Check it out. I'll have more update on the Model Factory Hero Ferrari soon. Thank you. And here we go with the slideshow. Right here you can see the blue stripes were painted on instead of using the kit supply decals. I read online a, a lot of people had difficulty with the decals, so I went with painting them on instead. I felt that it gave a better result, and you can see it here in the back as well. Then we went uh, for the hood. I completed the hood with the photo etch metal windscreen, which I thought was really cool, and the little tie downs. Uh, then I did decal the car. The decals were easy to do. They were great decals uh, as far as they were thick, but they laid down and went smooth. The interior's done. Then we get to assembling the details on the car. The glass all went in, the headlight covers, the photo etch metal trim rings around the headlight covers all give a very nice look to it. And then here's a couple shots of what it's going to look like when it's done. Can't wait to finish it. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I'll have more soon.